Hello everybody, so today we will be entering chapter 7 uh, for the tutorial questions. Huh? So, as usual, I will only be discussing the subjective questions. So, before I start, I just need to tell you that for those that are looking for my lecture notes, it's in... Uh, I've created an open classroom for my lecture notes only. Lah. So, the lecture notes are available. In this class code here, which is CF3UAPH lah. Yang ini, oh, you can't really see. Okay, but yeah, so that is the class code. So, I've posted several uh, notes. So, I'll update the latest one, which is chapter 7 later. Okay, question 1. A 1.8 meter tall shopper. Eh, 1.8 meter tall shopper in a department store is 5.8 meter from a convex security mirror. So the shopper notices that his image appears to be only 16.3 centimeter tall. So basically the image is diminished. Lah, all right? So now is the image upright or inverted? So we have to explain this by using a right array diagram to show the formation of the image. Lah, okay, so now let's draw the ray diagram. Lah. First we need the principal axis. So there's a principal axis here. And then we have the uh, mirror, which is a convex mirror. So let's say it is somewhere here. Okay. This should be okay. And then now for a convex mirror, all of the center of curvature and the focal point is behind the mirror. So it is behind the mirror. Okay, so for concave mirror, it is in front of the mirror. So basically, if this is a sphere, the principal axis is uh here, and then all the center of curvature focal point e in the sphere. Okay, if we look at if we look at the convex mirror, the center of curvature should be behind the mirror lah. So but the sphere, kalau kita kasih bulat, it's inside here. It's not at the front bit here. Okay, hope you get that. And then now we are going to draw the dots, which is telling us where is the pole, where is the uh, center of curvature. Okay, so assuming that is the pole. And then we have to find the center of curvature. It's actually better if I draw a circle. Dulu. Okay, sorry about that. Let me just redo it. So assuming this, not assuming. So this is a circle. Okay, um, okay, now we are gonna draw, I'm gonna wipe this out, erase this bit, so that we have a convex mirror. Okay, so this is now a convex mirror. Oh, actually, I do need to find the center first. Okay, so the center of curvature for this is here. Okay, that's too big. So this is the center of curvature. This is the pole. So focal point is midway between C and P. So it's going to be somewhere here. All right, now we've did that. We can then erase this sphere because it is too big and it's messy all right so now this is our ray diagram i mean this is our convex mirror so this is pole this is f this is the center of curvature lah. all right now uh, let's draw the first ray oh before that let me just draw the object dulu. so the object is what 5.8 meter from a convex security mirror. So basically, I'm just gonna draw it somewhere around here. Lah. Boleh lah tu. Okay, so assuming this is the object, and then we are gonna draw the first ray. So the first ray would be parallel to the, it will go from the top of the object parallel to the principal axis. Okay, and then it would go. Huh. Actually. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller okay so this is our image okay and then 
let's draw the first ray going from the top of the object parallel to the principal axis and then it would be reflected in a way that it appears to come from the focal point okay okay so this is that and then we have to erase because it shouldn't be a solid line lah. it should be a dash line all right next um we are gonna draw the second ray which is the one that goes uh through the center of curvature okay so that one i'm gonna draw it using a different color so this one it would go passes through the center of curvature okay Chumtula. all right so that is like this and then it is reflected back along the same line lah. okay and then this one let us erase this yeah it'll be okay now uh two ways is enough for us to determine the position of the image lah. okay so if we look at it the image would be somewhere here lah, okay the image is from here okay so this is image okay so what is the image the image is upright okay so if you remember for convex mirror it actually only forms an upright image lah, okay but in this case we need to explain it by using a ray diagram that's why we need to draw beginning okay all right next uh determine the radius of curvature so the radius of curvature we can use the uh, magnification formula which is because we need to determine the uh, the image distance before we can determine the uh radius of curvature lah. okay so that is this equation and then what we have from the question we have the height of the object which is 1.8 meter and then we have the distance of the image in front of the convex mirror so it is positive 5.8 meter and then the height of the image is 16.3 centimeter tall okay so that is given so from here you will get the image distance to be equal to 0.5252 centimeter so it is negative because it is a virtual image it is formed behind the mirror then from here we can use the mirror equation so this is equal to one or oh, eh, sorry one plus two over the radius of curvature okay so from here you will then get the radius of curvature to be equal to around negative 1.16 meter okay all right so that is on question number one